Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, I've been called into the room by Santa uh, to talk about today's advent calendar focus. Um, Santa, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks. I've been very busy, as you may have seen. I'm looking forward to the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, surely for you, like, is January your quiet time or is that where you, you know, deal with the returns? Yeah, we do get um, the odd return and complaint, <laughs> which is a nightmare to deal with the shipping all the way <laughs> from the North Pole, but such is the world we live in. Exactly. Um, you were doing postal delivery way before e-commerce ever jumped on that bandwagon. <laughs> well, thank you so much. So you've called me in to ask about the snap camera. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Seamless. So the snap camera is the brainchild of a couple of folk up in Nottingham, Dan and Alicia. And they got in contact a few months ago, I think mm. via Hamish from 35MMC. And they were saying, oh, we've got this idea for a reloadable camera that is going to be mostly plastic, but fun and entry level. And of course, my first thought was, there's a few of those out there. Yeah, what's different about? But over time, having got to know the guys, um, I'm really excited about this. I think mm. there is a lot of genuinely uh, different and interesting things about it. So first of all, let's show the beautiful package. Their company is called Lensfair, and they also recycle and refurbish vintage cameras. Cool. They have brought this out with a really clear goal of giving people an option to sort of get started with mm -hmm. film. So it's forty pounds in our shop. So it's entry level which is great but also they are massively about sustainability and they're massively about creativity I think that's probably hopefully uh, yeah, how they're from the it. packaging you can see that straight away everything is either recyclable compostable or both um, so the camera should we have a camera big one up so it comes in what looks like a plastic uh, bag but actually this is the uh, eco variant and um, biodegradable fully compostable plastic free packaging so they've clearly thought about everything. Now, mm. that's awesome as well. So you've got not only everything from the packaging side, the fact that this is hopefully replacing, you know, disposable cameras as a way in. Mm. Um, but also they plant a tree for every camera sold, yeah. including via distributors. Do you plant trees for every parcel you deliver? Why would I have to try for? <laughs> I suppose you run a more bio-efficient system though. Yeah, like, we, we use reindeer. Yeah, they don't magic. pollute the world, they just fly. Magic reindeer are probably less carbon intensive mm -hmm. than, than cars. Okay, but I love the idea. It would be nicer to look over trees as I fly rather than big skyscrapers and, you know. Yeah, exactly. Well, Lensfair are part of Tree Nation, so I think Tree Nation have it where they, they have a location for the forest. Okay. So hopefully next year you'll be flying over a bigger forest exactly. thanks to the Lensfair folk. So that's definitely one side. And then secondly, um, you'll see that the camera doesn't look like uh, a, maybe a, a, I don't know, a normal camera? Yeah. I don't know what the right word is. It's very because, funky. Exactly, it's funky. The camera itself comes with two different stickers, so you can basically customise the front. So I'm going to start using this one because this is one that Dan and Alicia made specially for us that's actually Analog Wonderland holographic <laughs> that we've been using to basically do um, sneak shots of folks around the warehouse uh, for the last three months, which is brilliant fun. But you can use different stickers. They provide two options sort of in the bag that you can purchase ah, extra stickers and of course everyone's favourite. The flamingo. The flamingo. I mean come on. Who wouldn't want a flamingo camera? <laughs> <laughs> but there's loads of different versions. Um, there's not a Santa one, which I'm surprised by. Yeah, a bit disappointing, but maybe they thought it would limit the seasonality of uh, that's there. So um, yeah, so there we go. That's what it's all about. So Paul, is this a good camera for people first starting in film? Like what film would you recommend to start with? Yeah, I definitely think it is. So we've talked a little bit about build quality. Genuinely, we've been using this around the warehouse and lab for three or four rolls of film and it is incredibly robust, um, well put together. We've had no problems with loading and unloading. So mm -hmm. I definitely can recommend it from that regard. Um, what we've also done actually on site is uh, when you go to the product page, you can add a roll of beginner's film, shall we say, Kent Mirror or HP5, hopefully some colour film one day as well, um, and the stickers and developing wow. with the Wonder Lab of that roll all in one little bundle. So you can do a little add on, get it all together, and hopefully that sets someone off 
brand new on that wow. analog photography journey. That's lovely. Oh, I'm excited. All the boys and girls will love these. <laughs> Seen a lot of cameras on wish lists, but I think when you're first starting in film, it's difficult to know what to go for. So to have a bundle where it's all, all there for you makes it super easy. Well, thank you, Impartial Santa, for that pitch. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes aside, I think you're right to pull me in for this one because while we're running through a load each day on Instagram, mm. This is definitely one that feels special. Yeah. Um, so yeah, obviously if you have loads of cameras already and you don't necessarily need another one, then this won't be of interest. But I think the exciting thing is, uh, if you think of anyone who would fancy a flamingo camera, who's going to be able to put a few rolls of film in and join you on your analog adventures, why not? Does it come with the strap as well? It comes with the strap, comes with the camera. It'll need an AA battery on top. There's a user manual inside, but also there's loads of videos. Um, nice that Lens Fair have too. And presumably as well, if someone starts with this, shoots with it for six months a year and then decides that they want a vintage camera, they can come to Lens Fair and um, yeah. continue their path that way. Yeah, they seem like they genuinely care about film photography and they're invested in the community, which is nice to support a small brand like this. Exactly, 100%. <laughs>